The U.S. Attorney for New Mexico has announced new indictments against key players in a transnational human smuggling operation. News 13's Dean Staley tells us about the federal government's latest step to try and shut down this criminal organization. That's right. Joint Task Force Alpha featuring members of the Department of Justice and Homeland Security has been investigating the Lopez human smuggling operation for years and today announced the latest step in their investigation. Today we announce another, we unseal another indictment against Ronaldo Galindo Lopez Escobar as we dismantle another arm of his human smuggling operation that spans from Guatemala through Mexico and here into the United States. The task force says Lopez Escobar, who lives in Guatemala, is the leader of the Lopez crime family. They say going back to 2017, that organization has smuggled thousands of people from Guatemala to the U.S., mainly into New Mexico, Arizona, and California. Lopez Escobar and seven other members of the crime family were indicted for conspiracy to transport and harbor illegal migrants today, including Lopez Escobar's son, Whiskey Hans Lopez Ambrosio, who was picked up in Florida, and his daughter-in-law, Karen Stephanie Hernandez Venegas. Homeland Security says one other suspect was also arrested. Last month, our special agents in San Jose, California, arrested Elvis Lopez Ambrosio on criminal warrants that were filed out of the District of New Mexico for this very investigation. Lopez Ambrosio is the main target and a leader of one of the smuggling cells. Lopez Escobar was indicted on a similar charge last year but remains a fugitive. The U.S. Department of Treasury sanctioned the smuggling organization's U.S. banking operations, saying they've taken more than $400 million in payments to transport people across the border since 2020. Back to you. Joint Task Force Alpha is also working with the Guatemalan government to see what can be done there to stop the smuggling operation.